In today's video, we're diving deep into one of the most alarming global alliances forming right now, Russia, China, North Korea, and Iran. From a missile strike in Kharkiv, Ukraine, that involved weapons from these nations to their growing partnership that challenges the US-led world order, this informal axis is reshaping geopolitics as we know it. We'll explore how these countries, despite their differences, are teaming up against a common enemy, the United States, and what this means for the future of global power. Stay tuned as we break down the reasons behind this collaboration and its far-reaching consequences. In January 2024, the world witnessed a missile strike in Kharkiv, Ukraine, that raised eyebrows across global military and intelligence circles. Weapons used in the attack were traced back to North Korea, Iran, and China, signaling a growing collaboration among these countries. This incident is more than just an isolated event. It exemplifies the deepening partnership between Russia, China, North Korea, and Iran as they unite against a common adversary, the United States and its allies. The strike not only highlighted their joint military capabilities, but also set the stage for a broader geopolitical realignment that could reshape global power dynamics in the years to come. The cooperation among these nations has led many to label them an axis, drawing parallels with infamous alliances such as the World War II Axis powers or President George W. Bush's Axis of Evil. While these four countries, Russia, China, North Korea, and Iran, have distinct political systems, their shared strategic goals unite them. Their alignment is less about ideological unity and more about geopolitical power, military collaboration, and economic survival in the face of US-imposed sanctions. This emerging axis reflects a shift in global alignments where historical echoes of past alliances are revived in a new, modern context, challenging established norms and international order. Despite their differences, the four countries share a critical objective, expanding their spheres of influence. Russia seeks dominance in Eastern Europe and Central Asia, China in the South, China Sea and the Indo-Pacific, North Korea on the Korean Peninsula, and Iran in the Middle East. This collective ambition for regional hegemony creates a bond, allowing them to challenge US-led alliances such as NATO and the Quad. Their coordinated efforts to assert control over key regions not only undermine Western influence, but also signal a strategic shift towards a multipolar world where these nations play a pivotal role in shaping global policies. What truly cements this axis is their mutual resentment towards the United States. For decades, Washington has actively worked to counter the ambitions of these nations through military, diplomatic, and economic measures. Sanctions have crippled their economies, forcing these countries into closer collaboration. The missile strike in Kharkiv is a testament to their readiness to challenge the US and its allies directly using both military and economic means. This shared animosity acts as a powerful unifying factor, aligning their diverse strategies and actions towards a common goal of countering U.S. dominance and influence across the globe. The economic sanctions imposed by the United States and its allies have played a significant role in driving this collaboration. Cut off from the global economy, Russia, China, North Korea, and Iran have turned to each other to survive and thrive. Trade agreements, weapons exchanges, and shared technological development have become essential components of their strategy. The recent Kharkiv missile strike underscores how these sanctions have backfired, forging a stronger, more resilient partnership among the four nations. This convergence of interests in defying economic restrictions highlights the unintended consequences of sanctions and their role in fostering new geopolitical alliances. Russia's military needs, exacerbated by its invasion of Ukraine, 
have made it increasingly reliant on arms and technology from Iran, North Korea, and China. In exchange, Moscow compensates its partners through trade, political support, and military cooperation. The transactional nature of these relationships strengthens the axis while also revealing that these countries are willing to set aside ideological differences in the pursuit of their strategic goals. This pragmatic approach underscores the real politic driving their alliance, where mutual benefits and strategic interests outweigh traditional ideological divides. China, in particular, plays a crucial role by supplying dual-use products, civilian goods that can also be used for military purposes. These goods include electronics, machinery, and advanced technology, enabling Russia and Iran to circumvent sanctions. China's ability to skirt international laws while still offering critical support has helped keep this axis afloat, further eroding the effectiveness of sanctions. This strategic support from China not only bolsters the capabilities of its partners, but also illustrates Beijing's growing influence and willingness to challenge the established international order by enabling its allies to defy Western restrictions. Together, Russia, China, North Korea, and Iran have formed what some call an axis of upheaval, aiming to challenge the current US-led world order. By offering an alternative system based on authoritarian governance and state-controlled economies, they provide a counterbalance to the Western democratic model. This axis seeks to demonstrate that borders can be redrawn and political systems reimagined through military force and strategic alliances. Their collective push against the US-led order signifies a growing trend towards a new global paradigm where traditional powers are increasingly contested by emerging authoritarian coalitions. This collaboration raises the prospect of other autocratic regimes or neutral countries joining the Axis, further intensifying global competition. Nations in Africa, Asia, and Latin America, disillusioned with the Western world order, may see this Axis as an attractive alternative particularly if it offers economic and military support. The alliance could inspire a shift away from US and European influence, creating a new world system based on authoritarianism and self-interest. The potential for expanding this coalition highlights the need for a strategic reassessment of global alliances and the impact of rising autocratic powers on international stability. While this axis may not be a formal alliance like NATO or the Warsaw Pact, it undeniably poses a significant threat to U.S. influence. By challenging international norms and demonstrating that change can be achieved through force, these nations signal the possibility of a reshaped global order. The missile strike in Kharkiv is just one example of how these countries are willing to use their collaboration to press for alternatives, showing the world that military might can lead to geopolitical gains. This evolving power dynamic underscores the increasing complexity of international relations and the need for the U.S. to adapt to a rapidly changing global landscape. Russia, China, North Korea, and Iran are rapidly forming a cohesive and strategic axis using military collaboration and economic partnerships to challenge the dominance of the United States and its allies. As their cooperation deepens, the world faces a potential shift in global power dynamics, one where authoritarianism and military force redefine the geopolitical landscape. The future of this alliance remains uncertain but its implications for global security are profound. As these nations push forward with their strategic goals, they could redefine international norms and create a new world order characterized by shifting power balances and emerging rivalries. As we wrap up, it's clear that the collaboration between Russia, China, North Korea, and Iran is more than just a strategic partnership. It's a growing challenge to the US-led world order. With shared goals, mutual animosity toward the West, and a desire to expand their influence, this new axis is reshaping global power dynamics in ways we've never seen before. 
The question now is, how will the rest of the world respond? Thanks for watching, and if you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the world's most pressing geopolitical issues.